Happy New Year, and uh, I hope you had a great holiday season. I sure know that I enjoyed my time with my family over Christmas and New Year's, and I'm looking forward to 2011 as, you know, the, the high school wrestling season is right in the middle of things right now, and, and um, the youth season is going to start start picking up a little bit now in January, and pretty soon it's going to be tournament time. But something I wanted to share with you here um, this week was something that I, I recently discovered um, as, I, as a coach over the last five years, I've been constantly trying to learn from other people and, and learn from great resources about how to become a better coach, a better communicator, um, you know, a better husband, a better father, all those kinds of things. I feel that I'm postured as a learner and I'm always trying to learn from every situation and from every, every single person I come in contact with. But one thing that I thought was um, just sort of hit me today with um, just the idea of communicating is is I, I really believe that our our abilities and our potential are essentially limited by our ability to communicate and um, I thought I thought long and hard about this especially as a coach I think that it's very true but whether if you're you're in the workplace if you're at school if you're you know a parent and you know at home and in relationships communication is is is, is so important that I think that we need to make that um, a, a very important part of our learning experience and <clears throat> so many times I think we focus on our trade or where we're um, you know where like as a wrestling coach I'm focused on learning techniques and skills and strategies and learning the sport of wrestling but I think it's equally as important for me to learn how to become a better communicator too because I could know the sport of wrestling but if I can't reach my athletes or reach the parents or get those athletes to do what I want them to do uh, all of that knowledge really is, is ineffective and it doesn't really make a difference so just wanted to challenge anybody who is out there who might might be in a role a coaching role or a leadership role or even just as a parent to you know encourage you to take some steps in, in communication and learn some communicating skills um, there's a lot of great resources out there most recently one thing uh, a couple people that I've, I've listened to in in read on are <clears throat> A couple of marketing gurus and, and leadership experts, uh, Daniel Pink and, and Seth Godin, and those guys really, really just for me, help me understand how to communicate more effectively and help motivate my athletes. And of course, there are tons of other other great resources. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'd be I'd be more than happy to point you in the direction of the people that I've listened to. But communication is is very very important part of of, of just life.